Welcome back to the channel everyone. In today's video I'm going to show you how to load a custom map on your Apex Power FC. Now let's dive into a couple of things that you're going to need to accomplish this. Number one, you're going to need a car with an engine. Okay, maybe not with an engine, but at least with an ECU, a running, working ECU. Number two, you're going to need a notebook or a computer with an extension cord that reaches to your vehicle that you can plug in. Three, you're going to need either an FC Hucker or an FC Data Logger. Now both these companies make these devices that allow you to talk to the ECU and change multiple parameters and obviously load your own custom maps on it. Now the fourth thing that you're going to need is something called FC Data Logger. I'm going to put the links in the description for this. There are download files all over the net. Obviously once you buy one of these units you do get the software package with this. So what am I going to do today? I'm going to show you guys how to load the custom map on an RX-7 FD3S. I just want to take a quick opportunity here just to say if you're enjoying this video so far smash that like button below also if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button i've got lots of cool content i've got an r32 gtr two rx7 fds and an mr2 sw20 that was a mouthful smash that subscribe button Whew, with all of that being said we're going to open up this door here and we need to pull off the kick panel which is this guy right here so while I'm pulling off the kick panel, well, basically I need to plug this end of the FC Hucker into the Apex e Power FC. So we're about to quickly do. So in order for me to do that, I've got to pull this kick panel off as well. Now the kick panel is out. I'm going to find out where my hand controller is plugged in, which is this guy right over here. As you can see, I've just fed the little cable down somewhere under there, and it lands up at the bottom of the ECU. So I'm going to unplug that. I'm going to carefully plug in the cable of the FC hooker. Nice. Lucky for me, the cable's quite long. So I've actually never plugged this device into this particular laptop. So the first thing I get is uh, this little issue here with CPU 2102 USB. There's no driver for it within Windows. So easy, just connect to your Wi-Fi or any sort of internet source and let Windows do its thing and update the driver for it. Nice. So first things first, you're going to click on setup. Then you're going to go to port. So first things first, you're going to click on setup. You know, go to FC box and just make sure that you've got version 2 black. Now that's if either you're using an FC hacker or a FC data logger. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to turn the ignition on on the vehicle. Right, now once the ignition is on, you're going to head over to tools. You're going to make sure, sorry, setup. You're going to make sure port is set to your COM port. So mine is COM port 6. And a quick one, just sorry about that long, loud beeping noise. Unfortunately, there's no radiator coolant in the engine right now because I'm only starting it this coming weekend. Haven't done fluids yet. Um, the car's beeping, so there's no fluid. Let's make this quick. So you're going to head over to tools. You're going to go initialize Power FC. You're going to get a message that says this will initialize the Power FC data. Are you sure? Yes. Let's reset the Power FC for the initialization to complete. Key off, key on. Okay, I'm going to head over to the car and I'm going to key off. Leave it off for five seconds and then key back on. Now that you've initialized, click on read all and this will give me the map that is currently on the car. So this is the base map that came with this car or rather with the Apex e Power FC. So I'm not going to bore you guys with all the settings that are in here. So this is basically your injector map and then you've got a whole bunch of other timing tables, leading, trailing, your base map and then your settings. So basic things like rev limiter, what sort of boost you can run. Mine was set to 0.8 bar previously. Remember my primary turbo didn't work. Um, as you can see this is definitely the stock map. Uh, sequential turbo control is still on. Injector warning not control. Um, the O2 sensor control was switched on. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of other settings on here that does uh, correction for water tables and water heat tables and 
all sorts of stuff. Anyway, we're not worried about that whatsoever. What we're going to do now is we're going to load a custom map. So the map that I'm going to load here is indeed for a single turbo setup. Now it is not what I'm going to be running on the road. This is just for the startup. Essentially what it is doing, it is going to block off or stop certain sensors from running and the car going completely freaking haywire. It's also got a slight tune for a single turbo. Now this is uh, Jason's uh, map. Jason lives in Sweden. He's got a big single RX-7. He's been helping me out a lot with the build remotely, which has been good stuff. So I'm going to open up his map. So now that we have Jason's map loaded, I'm just going to run through and take a look at some of these settings. As you can see, a lot of things are different. So his uh, first boost option was 1.4 bar which is crazy and uh, so this is duty cycle for 1.4 bar on both turbos now this was set here for a twin turbo setup that's not exactly going to be working um, I'm not I don't have boost control either in the car I've got my own HKS electronic boost controller so none of this actually makes any difference whatsoever sequential turbo control is off injector warnings on knock warning is on the knock sensors in the car standard go haywire they're always flickering um, essentially there's a little light basically there's a little light on the dashboard your heater light and that flash is crazy and that's now your knock light so now i've personally gone through this map and i'm pretty happy with it what i'm going to be doing now is i'm going to be writing all of these tables up at the top onto my ecu now i could if i really wanted to just take the base map and write the base map but that's not what i want to do i want to write all of it in your case, you probably would have saved the stock map. I've already done that. I don't need to save it anymore. So I'm just going to overwrite by clicking write all. So as you can see, writing a custom map to the Apexy Power FC is super easy if you have all the right stuff. The FC Hucker and the FC Data Locker are roughly, I think about 250, 300 US dollars. They're worth the money. Um, this is Ben's one. I've been borrowing it from him. Ben, thank you so much. As soon as I'm done with it, I'm going to be buying my own one. Well worth it, you can do it a good tune and uh, that beeping is starting to irritate me. So I'm going to end the vlog here, I'm going to switch it off and uh, I've got a big single turbo map on the car. Anyway guys, if you've got any questions or something down below in the comment section, sorry about the dogs barking, I'm going to run, carry on with this RX-7 FD3S. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below, really appreciate the views, really appreciate the likes and that notification bell if you don't mind. Thank you so much for tuning in, I'll see you guys in the next video, cheers. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough There's a million other people with the same stuff You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo You gotta take it slow, you can't be a pro, don't waste your time no more Who the f*** are you to tell me what to do? I don't give a damn if you say you disapprove I'm gonna make my move, I'm gonna make it soon And I'll do it cause it's what I wanna fucking do Cause all these opinions and all these positions They come in in millions, they blocking your vision But no, you can't listen, that shit is all fiction Cause you hold the power you're as long as you're dreaming